Hey guys, Reginald Duck here, back today with another deck profile. So I took this to my local OTS um, on Saturday and I went undefeated. So I won three rounds and drew the last round, but that's because we went into time. I think I would have won because I smashed him game one. So um, let's get into it. So for the main deck, we've got the Spice. So with it being a rank 8 turbo deck, I'm playing a small mech knight engine because this is blind second so um, basically if they've got two cards in the same column or you can place one of your own for example then you can just summon it from hand then you can quick effect to banish a mech knight which is not cost to um, search a mech knight and then the card banished comes back in the stamp in your next standby phase so for example you usually banish itself search indigo the next turn you get this back and you've already got your indigo for free um, so three copies really really cool one copy of Indigo. Um, it's just a Mech Knight that you can summon for free with it being level 8 as well. You can search it. If you open this and another Mech Knight, you can summon this, use its effect to move it, then summon the next one to the same column you summon this to. Really, really cool. One copy of Blue Sky. I hate this at 2. Um, at 1, it just feels perfect. I've never seen anyone just play one, but for me, it was really, really good. I sacked so many people with this, saw it just the right amount of times today. On to the next rank 8 engine, this is literally just a monster mash deck. We've got three copies of the, it's not really new, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Um, so basically if you control a Galaxy Eyes monster you can summon it from your hand in defence. It's a shame it summons in defence but I can see why they did it. Um, then when it's detached from an XYZ you can summon a Galaxy Eyes um, Photon Dragon from hand or deck. Um, really really cool has an effect when it's attached to the battle phase but I've never been able to use that so let's not really focus on that I think that's for the galaxy deck like pure one garnet so galaxy eyes photon dragon you don't really want to draw it but the afterglow can summon from hand or deck but obviously you'd rather it be deck so just one copy basically it just gives you a load more damage three copies of gizmet probably the best card in the deck this card is absolutely insane, especially since it's such a large deck. You don't really need to worry about banishing your garnets all the time. Just a level 8, you can trade in, you can ditch your Foxy Tune and summon it back. Um, and it's obviously, you can summon it back way more than once. For the Punk Engine, I've got two copies of Xiamin. I was playing three, but I found I kept drawing it with like my Lava Golem and stuff, so I feel two is just right in case they negate one. You can go for the other one next turn. Or you can just synchro it with a mech knight if like, they negate it. You can synchro it with like, the blue sky. Really, really cool. One copy of Foxy Tune. Um, it's good for sending like your Shadals, the hard draw. Yes, we're playing Shadals. Um, really cool. Just helps you get to your instant rank 8. And then for your last punk card, you've got one copy of Day Note. Um, if you go your full punk combo, basically gets you a level 8 synchro and then you get the foxy tune back so you can just make a rank 8 and you can actually summon out the negation the rank 8 galaxy eyes monster on your fifth summon so actually plays around Nibiru as well three copies of lava golem this is MVP today honestly I destroyed so many people with this um, I faced three really strong decks I feel I faced um, tier game one, round one. This card was insane against them. Helped me really break the board, stop them controlling a tier monster, and then I could just play through all the back row. Um, against Eldritch, he came up once because the guy had a Heavenly Prison and an, a Golden Lord, and I could change a heart of this back and made a rank eight. So really cool. And then um, the last game I was facing DDD, and it really helped sort of pick apart his board because he had so many interactions. So really, really good. It conflicts a little bit with the Xiamin, but most of the time you're just going to use the emergency teleport, is it? Yeah, e -tally, sorry, <laughs> to summon out the Xiamin anyway. Um, I tend to summon this in attack position because then you can actually beat over it or you can use it to make a column for your mech knights. It's really, really good. Three copies of Evil Hero of Dusted Gold. It just makes a level 8 fusion um, I actually ended up using the fusion effect a few times as you said just overlay with it but 
The fusion's really strong. It also searches you a spell, so you could set the spell, make a column, summon a mech knight, flip the spell. So really, really good. Just literally gets you a level eight that's a good monster and gets you a spell. Really cool, sort of helps fix a lot of the bricks in the deck. Three Astral Karibo. Um, the reason I won against Tear in game one is because I summoned I had the ability to make two rank eights and the first one got interrupted, got destroyed, and I knew they had interaction for the Draglubion. I knew they had like what the tear trap that was essentially a book of moon. So he let my opponent let me get to a level eight and then this and said, Yeah, play it out. Obviously not realising I was going to summon the Draglubion, which can't be targeted, and this prevents it being shot by battle or card effects. And I decked my opponent out. Um, they had a Time Thief redo and they were trying to hit a trap. But I was playing no traps. So they had absolutely zero outs in the main deck for the Triglubion that couldn't destroy by battle, card effects or targeted. So really, really good. Just helps you stall out games. Also, it just becomes a level 8 pretty much and specials itself for free. Really, really cool. Two copies of Alpha. This card performed better than I expected. Um just helping play into boards because you can actually lava golem them summon alpha bounce your lava golem summon alpha again and lava golem them again so really really good um, the summon is not once per turn but the bounce effect is and the fact it does not target it only targets monsters i control came up a couple of times as well for breaking tier boards really cool i've um, got one copy of shadow dragon i scammed an eldritch player with this so basically he had a skill drain and I had basically no outs. I had this in hand. I drew Shadal Fusion for turn. And he had no extra deck monsters. And I just had Shadal Fused from hand with a Galaxy Eyes, a Shadal Dragon. Made Construct. Chainlink 1, Construct, Chainlink 2, Dragon. Pop the Skill Drain. And then um, Chainlink 1, Construct, Send Beast, draw a card. I drew something amazing and I won that turn. So... I literally just sacked him. He probably thought I was cheating, but I promise I wasn't. Um, so one dragon, one beast. Um, really, really cool. Um, just literally send it, draw one. And then also with it being level 5, you can always banish it off the evil hero fusion. So dark calling, I believe it is, to get a draw off. Sorry, as a level 5 after. On to the spells. We've got three copies of E-Telly. Um... This card is actually insane. I can't believe it's still at three. So basically just special summon Xiamen out the deck. Xiamen search Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune summon Dare Note. And you get two level eights for free. Um, doesn't commit your normal summon. Has no cost. It came up a couple of times that the card got banished at the end. But I mean, oh well. You literally commit nothing to use it. Three copies of Shadol Fusion. Um, this card performs really well into extra deck. Um decks against ddd it was kind of awkward because he ended up a guy that negated effects to special summon and it wasn't even once per turn honestly i couldn't tell you if you I, I don't believe he was cheating he seemed like a nice guy i said we're not gonna have time if i read all your cards just play it out i'll read what your end board does with it only being a locals i didn't care so much i figured he wouldn't cheat me i don't believe he did so three copies um basically you summon construct and then you just get a pop a destruction and then when the construct dies or is detached you get this back it's really good value three droplet i picked this up recently um card is absolutely insane in the deck for example you can raigeki and then send the raigeki while it's still on field as like an extra form of negation so like they can't even negate the raigeki essentially um you can um if they're about to quick effect destroy something you just chain this send it anyway and they get something really really good i am also reducing the attack comes up quite a bit three copies of trading um this really helps sort of fix awkward hands because you will have sometimes just draw an afterglow dragon and you'll be able to make a rank eight but there's no point so in an afterglow dragon in defense position with no follow-up so you'd rather just pitch it and draw for example a lava golem or an alpha or something it's really cool just the two copies of raigeki I found I was seeing Raigeki way too much when I was playing three because you just want to see one and force it through rather than open triple Raigeki and no monsters. So really cool. Um, I think two is the sweet spot for this card. Um, 
absolutely insane against DDD. I don't, I don't know if he could have done anything. He said he had a spell negate, but a droplet, and he didn't even add to it anyway. So, oh well. And then for the one else, we've got one monster of barn. Um, it's just an extender. Um, it's good bait for whatever you think they might have. Um, really cool. Does target, so it would get hit by the new bestial stuff if you would target a light or a dark. But I mean, oh well. Really cool. One copy of Desires. Um, I'm playing a lot of questionable one ofs in this deck. This probably should be it too, but oh well. One talent <laughs> again for the questionable one ofs. Um, you see them when you need them. Is the theory so far so good? I activated this a couple of times. I wasn't sure if I should activate the draw effect or the rip from hand effect. My opponent who was playing Skull Servants. I don't think I've mentioned him yet. Um, he had one card in hand, so I go for the draw effect. It's an Ash. So either way, it was exactly the same really. Um, one copy of Change of Heart. This is really good because it's just so free. It's so non-committal. You don't have to commit a summon. You don't have to do anything. You just pick a negation on their board, either bait it out, or if it's a disruption or something, literally just they can't use it. So the DDD player had something that would just absorb one of our monsters when I activate a card effect. So let's just first thing I did is just Change of Heart. Get that on my field. Um, yeah, so really, really good. And lastly, just the one copy of Dark Calling. Um, can't wait for this to come in Ultra. It's going to be so sick. Except when I draw it every game. But um, really cool card. You just search off the Adusted Gold. Set it. Summon a Mech Knight. And then you can fuse from Grave using an Evil Hero and a level 5 or higher. So really, really cool. That's it for the main deck. So then for extra deck. Um, some more of my questionable, questionable deck building. So we have the one Numeron Dragon. I ended a couple of games with this. Um, really, really good. I think some down 27k. Um, sometimes you just struggle to get game. So you can either gamble it on the Numeron or you could just make like a negation, for example. But if my opponent's got no cards, for example, I am just going to go for game. So really cool. One Volcasaurus, I never summoned it today, um, probably should cut it, but now I'm only playing the one blue sky, for example, it rarely comes up, but you could make it with like blue sky and um, astral Karibo. It's just a really good blind second card, pop a card, deal damage equal to its attack, really good. One Gaia Saber, sorry, Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger, so basically, um, Put it on top of Volcasaurus. Volcasaurus can't attack, but this can, and you can just make Zeus on top of that after. But um, it never came up. I sided this out every game pretty much for the um, Coach King Giant Trainer that I'm playing in my side deck. Um, should probably cut this too, which actually gives me two sort of flex spots, but I'm not sure what to put in. Um, got the one Draglubion. This card is absolutely insane. Um, basically, you detach, you summon Numeron Dragon, give it a material, detach, it gains. 9,000 attack so it's 9k but if you could draw another rank 8 which you often do because you'd set up in the gate before you summon this then you'd actually summon it out on 17k attack over like a, a lava golem or something for game so really really cool um, one copy also it can't be targeted so sometimes if you just make it with an astral karibo in defense position your opponent cannot out it like my opponent in the first game really really good one titanic galaxy um you never actually really summon this anymore you would just use it as a material for the numeron dragon i guess you could summon it but it can't negate any of the best spells in the game so it is a spell negate but i mean you can't negate super poly you can't negate ultimate slayer you can't negate what was the third one i don't know but basically every good spell you can oh dark rule and droplet yeah so um it's good, but I mean, it's not good this format, I don't feel. It's just a material, really. One Dengesu. I thought about summoning this, but I never needed to. But it can out pretty much anything, because it's a non-target and send. Um, also, it can detach to protect your own monsters, so really good. One Lancelot. Um, if you already have a negate up and you need to end on another negate, this is your second negate. Um, also, it can come up where you attack directly and destroy a card. Um, it rarely comes up, but I think it's definitely worth playing. 
um, Photon Lord, I make it basically every game. Now I'm playing a bigger galaxy package, this card is actually insane. So if it has a galaxy as a material, then it will destroy as well as negate. But then also, um, once per turn your opponent's turn, you can just search a galaxy card. So you just keep adding the um, afterglow. Sometimes even added two, just because you can trade it in. I mean, it doesn't detach to search, so you might as well just search every turn. Because why not? It's just free advantage. And also, it is a monster negate, so... You summon this, and then you summon the Dragloobion, and then they literally can't negate the Dragloobion. Um, really? I mean, I guess maybe, but it really gives you security, and also the Numeron Dragon you summon would then be on 17k. So, really good. Absolutely insane. Probably MVP of the deck. Um, one Cypher Dragon. I am playing a bigger Galaxy package, so literally just this it can steal a monster but then only this card can attack so you never really use it it's just a bridge you just put cards on top of this so you would go for the full armor photon dragon a lot so basically you can just put this on top of cypher dragon so instead of requiring three level eights you just require two level eights um just more economical detach one destroy a face up card that's the only effect that really matters it's on 4k so a lot of the time if you've got a photon lord you summon this as your second rank 8 you can pop a card and if you've detached the galaxy eyes afterglow you summon a guy in 3k as well so it's 4k 3k 2.5 which is game so really good you can also rank this up into the cypher blade if you need an additional pop but this is a rank 9 so it's a bit awkward um, also this can't be used as XYZ material so you could just make this attack for 4k make Zeus with 4 materials but you can make this into a Zeus so it's a shame and also this is a little bit smaller being only 3-2 but it can destroy any card not just face up card so swings and roundabouts really good one copy of Zeus I made this so many games today just literally I made it with 4 materials most of the time just let you do like 4k make this Zeus in my turn to get rid of whatever's remaining and then just wait till they committed the normal so pretty much and then just Zeus again um, I wasn't really sure when to do it against DDD I feel it was quite optimal I got rid of like 4 cards um, stopped him coming back into it um, but that I think I lost that game I can't really remember I think he top decked something special but oh well um, still really really cool the fusions got one malicious bane um, this destroys all monsters on my opponent's field and that with less attack than this card I think it is and then does gains 200 for each um, can't show a battle or card effects so sometimes it can be quite hard to out if you've already used the unicorn for example and also you don't tend to blow up the board because it locks you into attacking with only evil heroes but I mean if you need to blow up the board you need to so Otherwise, you just overlay with it because it is a level 8. So, really, really good. One El Shadal Construct. Um, this card is insane. Um, basically, it's just free advantage. So, just one Shadal Fusion gets you a draw, gets you a destruction. And then when this goes to grave, gets you back the um, Shadal, Const Shadal Fusion. And then also, you can actually send Garnets from deck that you've already resolved other copies of. It's like if you've already sent if you've already used your dark calling you wouldn't want any more adjusted gold in deck so you would just send the adjusted gold or if you've drawn the dark calling and no adjusted gold you could send the adjusted gold and then still be able to fuse with it so really really cool um, just one copy and then for the last card we are playing one scarlet um, the banned chaos ruler I only cried a little bit it's fine um, it's a shame about chaos ruler but this card is still really good just blows everything up with 3000 or less attack and does 500 damage for each um, except itself so basically you can just burn your opponent in time as long as you can if you make this using the punk engine all you need is one additional card like a normal summon or a special summon and then this will blow up the punk you've brought back and that and the other monster for game because you've taken 600 they've taken a thousand um, also it's really good going blind second anyway so that's it for the extra deck. I've not been doing side decks lately, but since I was already there at the event anyway, I had one ready. So this is what I played. There is a few changes I would make. 
So you've got the one Coach King Giant Trainer. Um, this is another card for time. That's why I'm siding it. So basically, it requires three level eight. So it's a bit awkward to make. But I can't conduct my battle phase until I use it. Detach, draw one. If it's a monster, my opponent takes 800. I can, I can activate the effect three times in a turn. So it gives me three chances to hit a monster to burn my opponent. So really cool. I mean, also, even if you don't hit a monster, you've drawn three spells. So it's kind of cool. Three Denko Wrecker. Um, I destroyed a couple of players with this. Um, a guy sided in against me for some reason, but I sided in against him. He milled his eye summoned man. He had three tier back row, and then I think he shed a tear. But um, <laughs> three copies of this. Um, really, really good. Good against Eldritch. Um, I think I drew it twice today, and I won both games really easily. So just literally turns off your opponent's cards. There's a couple of times it had come up where, like, you can't, for example, set a dark coin to make a column, but I mean, you're playing Denko Saka for a reason. You probably turn off three or four cards just by summoning it. Three Shifter. Um, I think I'm going to cut this card. I played it, and every time I signed it in, I either discarded it for a punk or whatever because I just didn't want to resolve it. Because even though he was playing Eldritch, I didn't have a way to out his back row anyway. So if it was like shifter duster that would be fine but otherwise it's just shifter and then do a couple of things so i'd rather just be able to go off a bit more so probably going to cut this I'm thinking of putting in a couple of copies of um, necro valley or even silent graveyard not entirely sure yet but really cool three copies of nibiru i sided it in but i never saw it really good against tear um just literally never saw it but Usually it's good. One copy of Duster. Um, saw it every time I needed it. I think I think I dusted someone, yeah. I remember him looking sad. That was funny. Um, so one Duster. One Cosmic. Um, I actually resolved this against my opponent. He goes Sanguine, summons in a Golden Lord, and then he activates Conk to pop something that was really important to me and just banish the Conk straight away. So just prevent him from being able to like destroy my card without targeting and all that rubbish so he was not happy especially when I told him I only play one <laughs> but yeah really really good card it's just an optimistic mine um, I wanted more back row hate but also it's a bit more interactive and I had a 15th spot and then lastly three copies of evenly matched um, I don't like to main it because even though I'm a blind second deck I do want to OTK but if I know my opponent's playing Eldritch, for example, it doesn't matter if I don't want TK, as long as I can banish everything or even adventure, just bait out the negate, evenly matched, force them to keep the token, get rid of the Draco back, get rid of all that rubbish. So really, really good. Um, it's insane against tear as well, but I didn't draw it that much, I don't believe, if at all. But in fairness, I think you have to play this card at the minute. So that's it for the side deck. So this has been my basically rank 8 pile deck. Um, I think it's really, really fun. I think it has such a high ceiling as well. You can do so much damage. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.